couple of years back, the Swiss and their highly criminal pharmaceutical giant, Novartis, have tested several coronaviruses and the H5N1 avian influenza, avian flu or bird flu, on Polish homeless, leaving at least 21 dead and probably hundreds who died later on due to the side effects of the corona and bird flu testing on poor homeless people without protection. Anyway, for the Swiss, poor people are considered subhumans. <clears throat> In Swiss German, ein Untermensch, jawohl! I have to tell you, the Germans do not have the super superiority ideas like Untermensch, subhumans. I was a homeless for three years in Germany too. There are very many homeless in Germany who are being treated alike by the German people. In Switzerland, there are no homeless. And if they see one, the Swiss immediately call up Die Polizei, Swiss Nazi police, who come and pick you up and deliver you in a mental institution. Because in Switzerland, anyone without money is considered to be sick. So be aware of countries without homeless people and where it's too clean and too organized compared to the rest of the globe. And I was a homeless in Switzerland for many years too, only possible by wrapping it up when daylight in the early morning and sleep in forest or hide in the bushes, which I did. Nobody saw me. Then, in the morning, I had a shave with my clean Swiss electric razor. And voila, I looked like a clean tourist backpacker going to Interlaken and Geneva. Thirteen cool things, huh? Well, I did them all thirteen of them, eh? Therefore, the worldwide father of eugenics and the Swiss system of the Untermensch subhuman was a Swiss called Dr. Ernst Rudin from St. Gallen with the Fatschers in their crest. The Swiss Dr. Ernst Rudin was a personal friend of Hitler and his gang and he visited Auschwitz and other concentration camps. Here you can see it. he was born in St. Gallen and he was a geneticist, eugenicist, and a Nazi. And uh, mass sterilization, the, the whole lot of it. Eh? He died peacefully in Munich, never did a day in prison. So I say it again because it's very important. Well, here is St. Gallen, where the, um, the genesis was, um, the eugenicist was from. And this symbol is the Fatschers. You find them in the British Parliament, French, American Parliament, in Washington. They are the ones who are ruling us. And it means unus pro omnibus, omnes pro unus, which is on the Swiss ceiling of the Parliament. And it's a Knights Templar saying. It means one for all and all for one. Because there are a couple of branches, you know, already the Romans had this, eh? It's all pharaonic, Roman, that's where it finally comes from. Eh? So there are a couple of branches tied together with a sword. This is their weapon. It means this is our weapon. Here's the Templar stuff. And it means one branch, you can break it. But all the branches, all together, you can't break it. One for all and all for one. This is their system. And we, their stupid slaves, we're selfish. It's all nobody trusts nobody. It's all one everybody for himself and that's why we lose that's why mr jesus when he came he said love your neighbor you know because we have to team up folks this is what he meant because he is from the pharaonic line of david he knew what they were going to do and he didn't like it like some of them like lady diana for instance and other and the empress sissy they didn't like what they were going to do so they whacked them you know because these princesses and empresses were choosing our sides because they didn't want all this killing and bloodshed. So this terrible Swiss criminal, this is where he comes from, his roots. And as I told, it's all Templar stuff, eh?
It's all from the Knights Templars and the Freemasons, they come out of the Templars and they founded Switzerland. Also, therefore, after the war, Dr. Josef Mengele, who lived in Kloten, Zurich, Switzerland, in the Schwimmbadstrasse number nine, helped sterilizing 30,000 gypsy women, subhumans, without people without enough money after the war in the 50s and in the 60s. So for Swissy and their Novartes, a homeless is not considered a human being. <laughs> so why not use them as guinea pigs, eh? Who are even cheaper than the real animal guinea pigs. So Swissy went to Poland, bribed the Polish author authorities, gave each Polish homeless 10 zloty, about $4, to buy some beers and cigarettes, making any homeless happy, right? And the Swiss liars told the homeless oh, that it was just a normal flu vaccination. Oh, because the nice Swiss, with their Templar Red Cross spy organization, care for people, don't they know? It all happened in the Polish town of Grudziadz, northwest of Warsaw. And the director's name of the homeless center is Mieczysław Waklawoski, who didn't understand how come suddenly so many of his homeless started dying and all complaining about pains in the stomach, liver and kidneys before they passed away and died. At first, he related it to the high intake of alcoholics amongst his homeless clients. Poland in general being a country of serious vodka drinkers, but then they all started to complain about such sev severe itchy feelings that the man felt like scratching the skin off their bodies, <coughs> which they literally did. And they felt so hot as being inside of a glowing hot oven. And that with Auschwitz, Oswiecim, next door with ethnic Swiss angel of death. Not a really comforting thought. Until Mieczysław Waklawoski realized it must have to do with the flu shots by those nice philanthropist humanitarian Swiss from Novartis. Normally, the Swiss experiment n new drugs on psychiatrical patients and prisoners in Switzerland, where the homeless go to anyway in Octagon of the Alps, as it's a crime to be homeless in Switzerland. So from 1946 until 1980, Thousands of people were used as human guinea pigs in Switzerland for the Novartis criminals who by then operated under the name Sibagegi. Their speciality was experimenting on children and pregnant women of whom hundreds died due to the side effects of the various tested Novartis drugs and many were wrecked for life, both mentally and physically. Now, why the experimenting of uh, Novartis and Dr. Roland Kuhn started only in 1946? Well, that's very easy, because Swissy and their Basel-based Novartis didn't have their Auschwitz facility anymore. But, they still had the Auschwitz camp doctor, Josef Mengele, living just around the corner from Münsterling Psychiatric Hospital, with Mengele living in Zurich, Kloten, only 60 kilometers away. So here's a map of most of Switzerland. Eh? So here's Münsterling, where they did all the experiments. Here is Novartis, Baal, Baalbek, Basel. Here's Bern. Here's even, and here, a little bit north of Zurich, about here, 
only 60 kilometers away from the uh, where they did the testing on children and pregnant women until 1981. Eh? Here's the airport of Zurich called Kloten. And here was Dr. Mengele. He was living here all the time in the 60s, the 70s, the 50s. They all knew it. Eh? He was an ethnic Swiss, as I explained in my film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. Even Engelberg is in it, the angel of death. Dr. Mengele, he went skiing here in the mountain, the bag of the angels. Eh? They're, just, they're just laughing in our faces, people. Eh? And gypsies, you know, they, well, I, I'll tell you in a minute what they did with the gypsies while Dr. Mengele was in Swaziland. This is where it all comes from. And uh, they brought the corona, no, no doubt. The Swiss Nazi psychiatrist doing the medical experiments for Novartis was the world famous Dr. Roland Kuhn, also called the father of antidepressants. Although only hearing the story makes you depressive. He and his wife Verena Kuhn, also a doctor, were a real Nazi doctor couple destroying and killing defenseless children without any remorse at all. Just like their pal Mengele, so typic typically Swiss. And then ending up as a worldwide renowned medical hero, like that Nazi guy Werner von Braun and his rockets. We, their slaves and our children, are just maggots for these creatures. Roland Kuhn became very rich by making billions for Novartis, their new medicines being sold worldwide by clean and neutral Switzerland. And he lived from 1912 to 2005. Here you can see it, it's a Basel based pharmaceutical company. Eh? And before the, the name was uh, Tsiba Gegi, as real criminals change their names and uh, all the time. Now they just cha change their names into Novartis. And this guy, Roland Kuhn, he studied in Basel, which I've shown you in the pic picture, like two pictures back. So it's all Freemasonry. He already made his deals when he was studying in Basel, where Novartis is, Novartis is, and where the Biz is, and Permendex, and everything. You would ask yourself, well, isn't there any police in Switzerland defending human rights and children's rights? No, there isn't. The Swiss Nazi police only defends big money and the various Nazi ideologies coming out of the Templar Alps with Switzerland and their child care authorities being the center of global child trafficking. And during the year 1971 only, Novartis used 172 kids as guinea pigs for extremely dangerous and in many cases lethal new Novartis drugs, just as they did in Poland. So here, one of the many Novartis names, Tsiba Gegi, like a Swiss criminal changing names all the time and using lots of aliases for the same company at the very same place in Baal, Baalbek, Basel, Switzerland. Here you can see the name, Siba Gegi, which is the old name for Novartis. And here it, they, they just say Siba. It was, it's so well known. And it says, Der Siba berichtet er später, er haben den Versuch nicht weiterführen können, da die Patienten starb. So Novartis said they couldn't prolong the experiments because the patient died. And here it says 172 kids. So the old name, eh? So they're just changing names like a criminal have, has a lot of aliases and other names. And nobody will ever do anything against these sort of things in Switzerland because it's the perfect dictatorship 
for the Freemasons and the Knights Templars. It's the base of Pharaoh. It's the base of all evil. And they're behind the Corona people. So for just antidepressants, they can do the testing and experimenting in Switzerland. But for the dangerous viruses and the new medicines, they do it elsewhere and go to Poland or even to Wuhan, China. Here you can see the Swiss Novartis, that this is their laboratory in China for biomedical research in Shanghai. There you go, it's, it's Swiss based Novartis. And then they bribe the authorities, you know, to do the testing on some homeless and poor people. They also bribe the Chinese, as they did with the Poles and the Japs. I'll show it to you, people. This is a highly criminal organization behind it, the Knights Templars of Octagon. And this is a, a very corrupt company. And i show you their slogan. Uh, here's their slogan. And they uh, compare. Uh, like deliver it, he says deliver it. So, uh, what, what do they deliver? Hey, eh? the corona, hey, eh? like delivering the viruses. They co they compare it with being an Olympic swimmer. Well, the Olympic Games, the o uh, committee is also in Switzerland in Lausanne. There you go. Being a competitive swimmer, you're taught the discipline of working hard, then training for the big event. Well, we have a big event now, eh? Achieving a result and then celebrating once you win, right? just after the Second World War, having all the money in their banks, and they go celebrate it. That's very close to what we do at Novartis. We work very hard towards a goal. We set the objective, then we deliver it, and then we try to celebrate, but only for a short time until we set the next goal. You see, they're never going to stop people. They go on and go on. After the Second World War, we thought we had it, eh? With the Swiss financing and everything. And, and they just go on. They, they will never stop. They will never stop. Look, the Swiss Novartis criminal Nazi pharmaceutical company is doing exactly the same thing as the criminal Swiss Nazi banks did and still do today. They throw big parties for the elite with music, drugs, prostitutes, caviar, and probably also the youth elixir, in order to get their clients on a sneaky friendship basis for tax evasion, briberies, new medicine permits, you name it. And I knew the managing director over the US and Canada for Fry Chocolate that even for Swiss chocolate, it works like this. The guy's name is Carlo Rusix. I slept at his place and he came for dinner to our house. He was always very friendly and help, helpful to me, but completely messed up with all that comes with it at the highest business levels. And he told me about the Swiss drugs and prostitute parties by Swiss Fry, Swiss chocolate for their business part partners and showed me the proofs too. So I've already shown you before this here how the Swiss criminal Novartis, how they bribed in Poland in order to do uh, medical experiments on human guinea pigs and get a... Uh, their medicines, permit, and everything. They're highly criminal. You, and i show you more. They do this all over the world. It's not only Poland. Even in the US. They even bribed the president. Yeah, look here. They did it in Japan. Well, I guess the, um, the Japanese businessman, they also like the youth elixir and prostitutes and drugs and, and everything that goes with it. Eh? The Yakuza. It's, it's all mixed up, people, and you are just a slave and a maggot to them. Here in Japan, bribery, Swiss bribery in Japan. And the list goes on and on and on. So look at that here. Um, Novartis, Swiss bribery in Turkey. You know, it's, it's all about business. It's all, you are, you are just a slave and a commodity to them. 
You're just a commodity, nothing else. It's all about numbers and money. And then they, it's everywhere. They do it everywhere. Of course, Novartis is behind the, Novart the, the, uh, the corona outbreak. They are behind it. And look at their logo. You know, this is artificial insemination. The same thing I, I filmed there in the Netherlands on that, on that uh, thing from the prince, the, uh, the, the prince Morris, like the, uh, the, the pharaonic uh, Saint Morris guy. It's like the egg, and here they do the artificial insemination. And, and this is where it all, this is um, the, um, the cells, the stem cells. Look at it, you know, the, the youth elixir. It's the embryonic cells, three months old, baby. They, they are vampires. How long, how much more are you going to take this from them, eh? And here, look, Swiss Novartis bribery in Korea, uh, 50 million. They do it everywhere. Here's the Korean flag with the yin yang stuff. They do it everywhere. It's, um, they, they must have a special Swiss bribery um, department in the Novartis. That, I mean, how can they do it, eh? I told you, the Swiss have absolutely, they have no, no conscience, not at all, absolutely cold and ruthless. And here again in Greece, Swiss Novartis, it's uh, an, another scandal, corruption. Uh, well, that's Switzerland, people. It's it's all over. I'm, I mean, it's so many. I I I. I could be filling a, a three-hour video only showing the Novartis and the Swiss, all these articles all over the world, you know, of the Swiss corruption and bribery and health elixir. They're vampires. They're the center of, the, the center of global child trafficking. Hey, Swissy, I'll get you. Yeah, look. Here, Novartis bribery in China. They are behind the Corona COVID-19 outbreak all over the world, people. And I already told you so in 2013, making videos about this. They are, they are behind it. This is Templar stuff. This is Octogon. And here, bribery. This is 2019, just before the corona outbreak, bribery in, in the US of Novartis, Swiss Novartis. They got the president in their pocket, people, and, that's, and you are locked in for months and months because of these ones here and your corrupt president. Eh? Yeah, look, here in the US, uh, talking with Donald Trump, eh? in Novartis, they almost paid a billion about the bribery allegations. They only talk about the money and the money they pay. But what did they do? They don't talk about it. What did they do? You know, they let loose the corona on us. Eh? That's why you're sitting inside. They do it all over the world. I'm not going to show it to you all these. I'm sitting here the whole day if I would. Yeah, this is the Wall Street Journal. It's just, it isn't just nothing. Eh? All the, these are all renowned newspapers. You know, they... So how much longer are you going to believe this guy here? Hey, Novartis, it was per first reported that Novartis, a Swiss pharmaceutical company, paid Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, $400,000 so they could gain access. I'll show you the rest in a minute. This Trump is a businessman, people, a very good one. He knows how to sell things. He knows how to sell himself. They use lies. These are businessmen, you know, only money counts. He knows exactly what you want to hear. He knows what the buyer wants to hear for a product. Eh? The proofs are all here. And I've shown you, 
He's an ethnic Swiss from his father's side, from the German Palatines. And from his mother's side, he is a, um, he's a pharaoh. Pharaoh from the one side, Templars from the other side. He knows how to sell himself, eh? Stop believing. It's all a business and you're a commodity. It's only money. That's all that counts. I only see money in you. You're the buyer of their lies, eh? And they're selling it. They've been doing this for a long time, people, and nobody ever stopped them. It all started in 1291. And it's getting worse and worse by the day. So this is all from official newspapers. Eh? The Swiss drug major Novartis is now caught in the middle of the bribery storm in China. Yes, Wuhan, China, Corona, COVID-19, right? After a sales representative of the company making shocking revelations about operations in China. Novartis are in China. They got a bio lab in China. Hey, eh? you still don't believe me? Yeah, look, Novartis bribery in China, and uh, and they have a a lab, several labs. They're doing experiments on homeless and, and poor people all over the world. Hey, eh? the Swiss are cons the Swiss Nazi Templars. They're still conspiring against humanity. And nobody does a thing about it. Oh, yes, the president is going to save us all. Mr. Trump, he's our hero. Oh, yeah. Nobody's doing a thing, eh? And for Trump, you are just a commodity. You're just a couple of dollars worth. That's all. Yeah, look, this is the, uh, the front of their, the, the Swiss Novartis criminal Nazi Institutes for Biomedical Research in China. This is the China building in Shanghai. This is where it comes from. They did it, people. I already warned you about the Swiss Novartis in these two older videos of mine in my channel here, Hatzefratz, six years ago. So this video here, it says Novartis, and this one here. They are into bioterrorism, people. And uh, I had a much longer video uh, seven years ago on my channel, Gure, but that's gone. And I don't have it anymore because uh, I had, uh, we had uh, two extensive house searches where the police, the Swiss Nazi police, they stole all my hard disks, computers, cameras, DVDs, uh, everything. It's gone, people. You should have copied it. So you better copy all these videos I still have here now. Maybe somebody in the in the future will rise up and see this and, and rise up against them. I uh, will probably won't live that anymore to see that. And I I still have this video on my channel Hatze Fratz from 2013 here you can see that when the swiss they voted for a mandatory vaccination so then i already understood that the um, uh, novartis already bribed the uh, the government and everything and um, so i already warned you from this highly criminal nazi templar novartis seven years ago uh, nobody will do anything against it. Neither will your big hero, Mr. Trump, save you, eh? Uh, he's into it unto, over his neck. And the, um, the youth elixir and everything, eh? And they probably experimented on me too. The last time they had me arrested in 2015, I lost 35 kilos in three months. And I was feeling very sick and destroyed inside. The Swiss are the evilest bunch I've ever come across in my entire life. So therefore, the highly corrupted Swiss police refuses to wear body cams, as shown in this article from 2019. Because then, the Swiss Nazi cops can't that easily lie stuff together to incriminate innocent people. 
so Swissy can put them away in prisons and psychiatric hospitals based upon organized lies, so Novartis can go experiment on their victims. All Swiss crimes against humanity are covered up by the Swiss Nazi Templar authorities, like Swiss police and Swiss judiciary, being highly organized criminal organizations with their roots and interests into the Swiss industry as in heavy nepotism made in Switzerland. It is because of all this, and to make it easier for the Swiss state's terror, in that same year of 2018, when the Swiss police refused the transparency of the body cams, Swissy did the opposite and developed the predictive policing so-called prevention tool in order to legalize the criminal Swiss practice of locking people away for no other reason than making profit out of the various subhuman guinea pigs. So here you see a British Bobby policeman. You'd say, okay, it's not a Swissy, but look at the logo on his helmet. It's Octogon. It's Octogon of the Knights Templars, the Templar Nazis of the from the Alps. It's the same thing, eh? All police, army, organizations, all these uniforms, it all comes out of the Knights Templars. It all comes from Octogon. Predictive policing means they can legally put you away for a very long time and without trial, nor you having done anything against the law, with just one psychiatrist related to Novartis Pharmaceutics having all the authorities over you, whether you may live or not, like a bloody pharaoh putting his thumb up or rather down, as we're all still being ruled by the same ones. Nothing has changed really, only they hide it better nowadays and backed up by the media political indoctrination machine. So if one of those lying Swiss Nazi cops who don't want to wear a body cam and lie something together, as they did with me, then you're gone for a long time. And the name of this total control prevention tool is Octagon. You heard it well, folks. Octagon, like Octogon of the Knights Templars. Here it says Octagon. Here, Octagon. It's a, new, it's a new online instrument against violence, um, uh, violence, like, but not against their violence. It's only, everything is only against the people, so they can control us better and better, so that they can just do what they want, eh? and put you away, so, you know, a psychiatric hospital, then Novartis can do experiments on you. So I'll let you read a little bit about it. It's not a uh, coincidence that they call it Octagon, eh? And um, yeah, so in the future, already now, uh, it's, it's going to get much easier for your wife or your neighbor to put you away in prison or a psychiatric hospital for a long time, only because you're a man and you don't want certain things, eh? So I'm sorry it's all in German because we are in Switzerland here. That's, they are more German than the Germans. Eh? And the only violence they talk about is the male physical violence. All other violences are okay. The violence of a woman taking away your children is okay, no problem. The violence of neighbors lying something together is okay, as it happened to me in Switzerland. Authority violence, of course, that's okay. It's a war against masculinity. Eh? It's, it's a definite war, as I told you before. You know, it's definitely a war by all the goddesses Hathor and Helvetica against man. And all the patriarchal sort of, not really patriarchal, uh, societies and religions 
like the Jews and the Arabs. That's why they killed them all, eh? It's all because of this. It's uh, the war by the Pharaonic goddesses against man, against the males and their sons. It's right in our faces. So let their arrogance and secret symbols and numbers be their downfall. So here you can see it again here, octagon. Uh, stalking and violence. Uh, uh, it's all anti-human being propaganda by these pharaohs here. The Swiss cops excuse for refusing to wear their tiny 80 grams webcam is that they feel hindered by it in their work. Say what? Work? You call that work? Carrying an 80 gram webcam? By the way, they're not hindered by that massive one kilo nine mil pistol swaying on their police hips, eh, Swizzy? And they're not hindered either by all the other goodies they, they're carrying around themselves, like 10 kilo of goodies. No, no, they're only hindered by a little 50 grams uh, webcam. Eh? Looks like a war against the people, isn't it? Well, let me tell you. It is a war against humanity. People, these are the ones who done it and brought the Corona COVID-19 into our midst. I have not a single doubt and I'm giving you the proofs and indications of that hidden Swiss crime syndicate of octagon Nazi Templars and their octagon prevention tool for the biggest global mafia in history. And I guess that that octagon prevention tool is not going to prevent Novartis Pharmaceutics and their terrible crimes to prevent them from letting loose some coronavirus on us and our children. Hey, Swissy.